Hi guys, today we are going to discuss Peugeot 607, probably the last business saloon made by this company. And the main question as always would be, is it possible to make some money on this car in the long term buying it right now? The car was presented in 1999 and the main idea was to compete with big German brands like BMW, Mercedes and Audi. The 607 model was the same size with BMW 5 Series. Mercedes C-Class and Audi A6. The car was in production for more than 10 years and it is much more than any of generations of three German brands. However, there were only 62,000 of cars Peugeot 607 ever produced. And this is an extremely low production number. For example, BMW 5 Series of E60 generation there were almost 1.4 million of cars produced. It is 22 times more than Peugeot 607. So what about current situation on the market? Nowadays you can buy Peugeot 607 in a very good condition for about two to three thousand dollars or euros, depending on the market of course. And as for this model, I'm really not sure. Is it going to become a classic and increase in price? like with other cars that we discussed earlier on this channel. There are some arguments for this car. First of all, this is probably the last business saloon made by Peugeot. Today the largest saloon of Peugeot is 508, with its extremely good design as far as I see it. However, it is almost 10 cm shorter than 607. The second argument for this car is that it is quite rare. Like I told you before, only 62,000 units. It is low production number. The number of cars is decreasing. So, it could be quite a rare car, especially in, for example, 10 years. And the third argument that I really like is that in this deal you don't have almost any risk. The thing is, if you buy a good condition car for two, three thousand dollars and maintain it well, Usually you can sell it in 10 years for the same price. Let's say at least for this price, because there is always an opportunity of this car, this model becoming a classic. Now let's talk about arguments against this. There are almost no options of powerful engines in this model. You have a choice from three diesel engines and two gasoline engines, one is 2.2 straight 4 and one V6 3 liter engine. However, even with the most powerful V6 engine, the car is quite slow. To add more, there were no special technologies in this car at all. The standard front wheel drive, the standard comfortable suspension. For example, in Citroëns you can get a hydroactive suspension and this is a big point and there are a lot of fans of this type of suspension. And to end up with arguments against this model becoming classic, I would say that it has a very strange bio design. Of course, it all depends on your preferences and tastes. However, if we look at cars from the early 2000s with this bio design, for example, let's have a look on Mercedes S-Class of W220 generation, then you will see that these cars usually don't look like a classic one. Maybe for collectors the good next generation would be even more classical looking right now. But we never know how it will look in 10 years. Maybe in 2030s we will all agree that this design is a really good one. What I really need from you is your opinion about this car. Please comment below and press the like button if you like this video and subscribe for more. But to sum up, I would say that this car could be a very good option for those who are looking for interesting and quite cheap and reliable to be honest car for everyday usage. And if you maintain it well, I believe that there is a chance that in 10 years you will make money on it. So I'm waiting for your opinion. Thank you and see you soon.